good news for women, gays and lesbians and transvestites and people, chicks with dicks, men with vaginas, and, and everybody in between, people of color, people of no color, everybody who is not white. Today's your lucky day because KU, Kansas, the University of Kansas is offering a class, a course for you on, quote, angry white males. Wow, here's your tax dollars being spent. Right? So this is a public university, right? Public. Public university. We sponsor this through our, our, our tax money, right? In part. Okay? So KU offers angry white male course. Now, I mean, just, just for, could you imagine if it was, if it was angry black female course? Could you imagine the outrage that, that the people would, the, the law, law enforcement would enter the, the, the property with guns drawn to remove the people who made this outrageously defamation, you know, statement, this defamatory statement. All right, so, but they're teaching the class. Let's look. So this is Zero Hedge reporting again. Post The New York Post reported it too. The University of Kansas is offering a course on angry white men and the role of, quote, dominant and subordinate masculinities <laughs> as they connect to right, rights-based movements of women, people of color, homosexuals, and trans individuals. Uh, it's a course to go there and for a bunch of people that with with identity crises to go into a class and say, "See, it's the white man. It's his fault. See this guy right here. It's fucking this guy right here, man. It's all his fault. Right? It's fucking any. He's white. He's male. And man, is he angry? You know. And and interpret interpreting those terms just for a second. What is angry? What is white? And on their own definition, what is male? Uh, it, it's subjective, right? It's a subjective term, and it's pinned on people we don't fucking like, right? basically. So angry white male st studies. <laughs> That's the name of the class, angry white male studies. Hum, 365. <laughs> hum, hum, 365. I was trying up for that shit. That should be a T-shirt. Somebody should jump on that. Hum, 365, huh? Uh, which is being offered during the fall 2019 semester, will explore the deeper sources of this emotional state while evaluating recent manifestations of male anger in Europe and America from 1950s to the present, according to the course description. What is the course description? Here it is. Hum. Hum. Let's see if I can do this without losing it. Hum. 365 Angry White Male Studies. I would actually take this and just... I would just... I would stand in the middle of the room and, and I'd probably at some point I'd think I would pull my dick out and like, like take a piss in the corner, right? Or maybe take a shit in the garbage pail just to, just to see how far you can push, how far you could push this stupid, stupid class. This, court, this course charges, uh, charts the rise, the rise. I'm reading right, I'm reading on, uh, right over here somewhere. The course charts the rise of the angry white male in America and Britain since the 1950s, exploring the deeper sources of this emotional state while evaluating recent manifestations of male anger. Wow, the rise. Uh, unbelievable. Wow. You could put this on anybody. You could see the rise of any minority, the, uh, the rise in anger, or is it outspokenness? Are, are white men allowed to be angry right now about uh, being discriminated against? Of course. Of course. Try to work in a municipality in a big city like New York, for example, and work around people that are not white or male and a little older, and you'll, what you'll see is a, a incredible discrimination against you for your whiteness right? because you're the source of their pain. Don't you get it? Understand, right? You're you as a white male, you're you're angry. Get just look. We're teaching a class in it. What's what's it's every we all agree, right? That you're angry. You're white. You're male, and we're going to teach a class on how transvestites, chicks with dicks, and homosexuals and women, angry dykes, angry bull dykes could could understand better 
the psychology of the angry white male so they could take his balls, rip them, rip them from behind, take his like a testicle pull and go and pull the white male's testicles and go right so that we could put the white male in, in check. All right, because we need to, right? This is this is serious. This is serious business, folks. Employing interdisciplinary perspectives, this course examines how both dominant and sub subordinate masculines, masculinities are represented and experienced in cultures undergoing periods of rapid change connected to modern and modern. This is such fucking bullshit. This is such bullshit right here, man. I, I don't even, I'm not going to continue this shit. So, so, so men, white men, Grab your, grab your balls. They're coming for them, right? How much more, where, where's the society, you know, where, where, where men are men and women are women? And, and uh, I'm not to say, that, it's not to say that, that women should be, uh, look, I'll give you an example, right? When in dancing, right? In my grandmother always said it. My grandmother, very wisdomic person said, she said that, that you know, uh, how many girlfriends have you had, uh, Mark? Marcus, how many girlfriends have you had? Why do you always have a new girlfriend? Because, because you know, it's the women. They're, 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 they're very difficult. <laughs> and she says, yeah, you're right. You know, my grandmother told me, said that. She says, the women don't know what they want, right? And, you know, so, so, so that's where we are right now, you know, is you get this, you know, women's liberation, right? So, but the, the, the um, analogy I wanted to make is in, in dancing. I, I, I've, I was... Uh, in like 1998, late 1998, 2003, swing dancing, right? The Jitterbug, the Lindy Hop, the, um, the Charleston right? made a comeback in New York City, right? And everybody was out there swing dancing, right? And and dance, right? Couples dancing is a is a uh, team effort, right? There's a lead and there's a follow. You can't lead. There's no two leads, right? And there's no two follows or there's no dance. One leads the dance and the other follows. Both are equally as challenging and both are absolutely necessary to make the dance look good, to make the dance happen at all, right? And a lot of times as the male, you're the lead, right? And it doesn't mean that the male has to be the lead, but in, in dance it is, right? I've never seen, I've, I've seen it the other way, but, I've, but it's not, it's not, um, look, Male, the male in swing dancing, the male leads in couples dancing, and and the female is the follow, right? And without the two, there's no dance, right? But you see a lot of what happens is, is the male, you, you have the women come in, and as the as a woman comes in and tries to, she's trying to lead you from behind, right? And it distorts the whole dance because you're getting a, a mixed signal. You're not paying attention to the lead. Right? You want to lead, but you want to you want to lead as the follow. You don't want to lead as the lead. You want to lead as the follow. It's called back. That's called uh, you know, back leading. So anyway, that's that's the story. You gotta look. You know, this 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 is like men are men, right? You know, I I know a lot of women are, are disappointed too because all the men are now so feminine and masculine, and they can't say anything, and they can't. You know, you can't say grab grab a pussy or anything. You can't say anything. Right? You can't be a man. You can't show your maleness. You have to be a woman. The women, the men have to be women, and the the women are striving to be more masculine men. Right? It's a war between the sexes. Right? I say go back to like you know, go back to like the the fifties where I don't know. Of course, you know, ro romantically looking back on time, it always seems romantic and more more real and more better. But uh, something, uh, something about like a story like this, teaching a class in, in angry white men is just, is just so, is wrong on, on every, uh, every, uh, in every respect. It's discrimination. It's, you know, it's a violation of the civil rights. It should be banned. Marcus Conti reporting.